This time we're going to do a vertically oriented kind of landscape painting. This one's definitely Mount Vesuvius. You'll start to see a lot of commonalities, especially with triangles. So this one's kind of got a lot of action and it's got a lot of smoke. And so essentially what you're, you're not going to be using many squares. We're going to be using triangles and circles or bits of circles. Okay. So our first major division is this large dark area right here. And notice how it doesn't quite go to the center, right? If you want to think in terms of complete triangles, you know, think of it as a big triangle that just goes off the page, right? Then in the background, you have another large triangle that goes up here. This one gets cut off and modified with a circle, right? Then we go nuts and we start um, breaking this down further with sub triangles and sub sub triangles and so on. There's another one here. Another one here. Another one that creeps out right there. There's tons of triangles. We could go forever just messing with triangles with this particular image, right? Got three peaks there. There's a sub triangle there. Another one back there. Another one right there. And then for all the smoke and everything, that has its own thing. So there's lava flowing down here, right? Kind of creates a little mini triangle. Then there's smoke that comes up. The smoke's all a bunch of arcs. And so to contrast and soften and create beauty in this, in this piece, there's all these areas there. And then of course, there's a little flat area right here. And this is where all the figures are, right? So they all stand over here. It's kind of silly. And then um, they've kind of just broken this down further and further and further to create this piece. So the basic shape language is triangle and circle. That's something that you definitely need to pay attention to. Then we can do our simplified version or our oversimplified version, right? Oversimplified version, what's really getting the effect here is basically this big triangle that we started with, this medium triangle, and then this huge guy in the background that fades off into the smoke. And then some smoke. So this right here would be our basis for creating a composition loosely based on this idea. Now there's some ratios to pay attention to, right? So what you'll notice is that the active area of any given composition is usually about 50-50, right? And by active area, I mean, I don't mean like they're dividing the canvas 50-50. I mean that 50% um, of the image is figure and what you're supposed to look at and 50 is kind of background. So you know, this area right here makes up roughly 50% of the image. And um, the rest of it is the other 50%, and that's going to take, and that's going to be in the middle and background, right? So that's just a general rule of thumb is that when you do a portrait, right, that's what you're looking at, the portrait's going to take up Roughly 50%, right? Maybe they have a hat on or something like that. So you have 50% figure and 50% ground. 